the other day, the official Xinhua News Agency reported that Chen Chuanguo, whose heavy-handed security campaign due international sanctions, had been replaced after five years. Experts say that China's change of leadership in occupied East Turkestan could indicate greater emphasis on economic development, although its security crackdowns targeting Uyghurs and other Turkic people is unlikely to see a significant change in direction. Experts say that while Ma, the new CCP boss in East Turkestan, an aerospace engineer and a former industry executive may have been chosen for his economic credentials, the mood does not indicate a change in direction. Chen had implemented the measures in occupied East Turkestan, but China's broader approach was fear-headed by dictator Xi Jinping. In a speech on Saturday, Ma said that he would persist in taking social stability and long-term stability as a general goal, according to China's state media, indicating continuity with Chen. Is Turkestan government in exile says in a statement, The genocide of Uyghurs and other Turkic peoples will continue so long as Chinese colonization and occupation continues in East Turkestan. The international community must address the root of the problem, which is Chinese occupation, in order to end the ongoing genocide in East Turkestan. The new party chief in Chinese-occupied East Turkestan called for improved business conditions in his first official visit to East Turkestan. Where forced labor accusations have promoted some countries to announce a diplomatic boycott of the upcoming Beijing Winter Olympics. Following his appointment, Ma vowed to unswervingly promote sustained and long-term social stability in East Turkestan and a never allow for reversal of the hard-won stability. Sari Hudayar, Prime Minister of East Turkestan Government in Exile, says China's newly appointed colonial administrator, Ma Xingri, to occupied East Turkestan, has vowed to continue Beijing's long-standing policy of colonization and genocide under the guise of stability, maintenance, and modernization and development. A Beijing official warned on Wednesday, China will take drastic measures if Taiwan makes moves toward formal independence, adding that Taiwan's provocations and outside meddling could intensify next year. China claims democratically guard Taiwan as its own territory and in the past two years has stepped up military and diplomatic pressure to assert its sovereignty claim, fueling anger in Taipei and concern in Washington. Taiwan said it's an independent country and vows to defend its freedom and democracy. China regularly describes the island as the most sensitive issue in its ties with the United States. Ma, spokesman of the Taiwan Affairs Office of China, says provocations by pro-independence forces and external intervention could grow sharper and more intense in coming months. Next year, the Taiwan Strait situation will become more complex and severe. Beijing has sent repeated air missions over the Taipei Strait in recent months to pressure Taiwan. It has said it will not give in to threats. While the United States recognizes only one China, it is required by law to provide Taiwan with the means to defend itself and has long followed a policy of strategic ambiguity on whether it would intervene military to protect Taiwan in the event of a Chinese attack. East Turkestan government in exile says, East Turkestanis, Uyghurs, Kazakhs, Kyrgyz and other Turkic peoples stand with the free and independent Republic of Taiwan. We urge Taiwan to stay strong and remain committed to safeguarding its freedom, independence and sovereignty. Taiwan is not a part of China. Sari Hudayar, Prime Minister of East Turkestan in exile, stated on his Twitter account that those listening in on my phone conversations just interrupted a radio interview that I was doing on my phone. I will not be silenced. Dr. Memtimin Ala commented on this affair saying, To go silent means death to us. Nobody, no power, can and will silence us, even if we are shot by your gun with a silencer on it. Our deaths will still speak out the truth. <laughs>